Hello friends, in this trick, I am going to take up a problem of geometry in which a circle is inscribed in a different two dimensional shape. Like in this figure, I have a circle which is inscribed in a square. In this figure, the circle is inscribed in a semicircle, and in this figure, it is inscribed in a equilateral triangle. So what happens to the radius of the inscribed circle and what happens to its area? Let us study the shortcut for finding the two variables. In the first figure, we have a square of side A and let us assume that the inscribed circle has a radius R. So as you can see that this portion that is the diameter of circle is equal to the side of the square. So diameter is equal to the side of the square and we all know that diameter is twice of radius. So the radius comes out to be A upon 2. So the first formula when a circle is inscribed in a square, the radius is half of its side. Now we can very easily calculate the area of the circle. Area is pi r square. So pi into square of this. So a square upon 4. So this is the formula for finding the area of the inscribed circle. Now come to the second figure in which we have the circle inscribed in a semicircle. Now the semicircle has a radius r and again we assume that the radius of the inscribed circle is small r. Now if you extend this, this becomes the diameter of the circle and it is also equal to the radius of the semicircle since it joins the center of the semicircle to its circumference. So the diameter of this circle is actually capital R and diameter means double of radius. So the radius of the circle is half of the radius of the semicircle in which it is inscribed. Now again as in the first one we can find the area. Area will come out to be pi into r square. So that is pi into square of this. So r square upon 4 which is a direct formula for calculating the area of the inscribed circle. Same thing we can apply for an equilateral triangle. But in this case the procedure is little bit lengthy. So, we can remember the shortcut directly. In this case, the radius of this inscribed circle R will be A upon A is the side of the equilateral triangle 2 root 3. Now, if you can remember this, it will work out wonders in competitive exams because you won't be required to find the radius by traditional method. So, if you remember the formula for finding the radius then finding the area will be very very easy. So let us derive the formula for area. Area is pi r square. So pi into square of this a upon 2 root 3 whole square which gives area as pi a square upon 2 square is 4 and root 3 square is 3. 4 3 is 12. So pi a square upon 12 is the formula for finding the area of the circle inscribed in an equilateral triangle. Now students, these are the shortcuts which we must know if we want to succeed in competitive exams. And geometrical concepts are some of the toughest questions which exist in the numerical ability portion of all competitions. 
so remember these shortcuts and i am sure you are going to come up successfully in all competitive exams so if you like the video do share it and subscribe the channel